What's up guys, welcome back to Fish of Hex. This is Travis here. In today's video, I'm gonna give you a quick update on coral orders, some of the things that I like and dislike about this whole process, and uh, just kind of show you some behind the scenes stuff. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. But before we get started, I just wanna say thank you to everybody who has purchased coral up to this point. I really do appreciate the support on the new build, and I'm very thankful that I have you guys here, the subscribers, and uh, you know, just the, watching the videos, the comments, uh, purchasing coral, and the you know all the positive feedback is great, and it really is encouraging to continue to create content for you guys, so thank you for that. Now, I will say I was pleasantly surprised on Sunday when I posted the video stating the website was live and how many orders actually came in in such a short period of time. And as I mentioned in the previous video, I pretty much paid for half of the reef tank now, which is awesome. And, uh, you know, it's only the first week. I mean, we still have seven months. I mean, technically, I still have until September to pay for everything. But I do plan on buying the reef tank here at the end of this month or uh, the middle of next month. Now, with that being said, I actually had to back up my shipping dates all the way up until Thursday. Now, I only ship Monday through Thursday, and I actually have some going into next week. And uh, I'm trying to keep my processing orders or the amount of orders that I process on a daily basis to under 10 because it does take a long time, as I'll mention later in this video. Now, Monday was definitely the biggest learning curve I have had regarding shipping, and uh, definitely Tuesday's orders went a lot better. It was a little bit more smoother, and I kind of streamlined the process and figured out the majority of the kinks to make sure that it went a little bit better. Now, one thing that I want to mention is that no matter how much you do, no matter how much you spend on shipping boxes or the materials to make sure that the coral gets there in one piece or alive, it doesn't guarantee that it's going to be alive when it arrives. And uh, that is one of the most frustrating parts about this. And it kind of, you know, I try not to take it personal, but it's kind of like I put in all this effort and the coral still doesn't survive shipping. It makes me feel like I failed my customer. And, and I have to step back and realize that, you know, coral just comes out of my reef tank. It goes into this container and then it sits in a box for, you know, 18 to 20 hours, gets bounced around, thrown across a warehouse possibly. I mean, there's so many things and so many factors in shipping. And then it gets to the house and you have to expect the person to acclimate it correctly and all this kind of stuff. And there's just so much into it. And, uh, you know, when it still dies, I, I have to realize that it's not my fault because I've done everything on my end to make sure that the customer gets it in one piece. Now that doesn't necessarily make it, uh, you know, make me feel 100% better, but it's just something that I'll have to learn as time goes on. Now I do send the DOA instructions, which are the dead on arrival. So if you do get a coral um, and it is dead and you can visually see that it's dead in the cup, go ahead and take a picture of it in the cup and send it to me with my email with uh, your order number and I'll send you a discount, discount code of that amount so you can use it on your next order. So I'm not here to take your money or anything like that, but I will send you a code so you can have the money off on your next order. Now, another thing that I have to learn is uh, is kind of how to approach certain situations. Now, I have a specific personality that is, uh, you know, a military um, combat veteran. I have a I kind of have a process in the way that I think that is not exactly kosher with the general public. So, I mean, sometimes I'm a little bit of a dickhead and I don't mean to be. And I've talked to a couple uh, core retailers trying to figure out how to approach uh, this. And that is when the box says that it is delivered at 1030. And I get a picture, say, at 8 p.m. that day of the coral dead in the cup. It makes me wonder, did you, you know, not open it up until 8 p.m.? So it sat in there for another, you know, eight or nine hours. And then, you know, and then you're still expecting to get a discount code for the amount. That kind of stuff is... Um, I'm trying to figure out how to approach it, and, I, and I'm trying not to be an asshole about it, but um, I pay the majority of my shipping. Yes, it's flat rate 30, but a lot of states, the majority of states, I spend money out of my pocket on top of the $30 to, um, to get the coral to you. So if it does die it, because you didn't open it up when you got it, that's, uh, you know, it's kind of, like I said, i got to figure out how to approach it, but it's just one of those things that... Uh, uh, is a little frustrating, and I, I'm not ashamed to admit it. So that's just a couple things that I have uh, processed over the last uh, few days, and it's just going to be, like I said, it's just going to be something that I'm going to learn as I go and uh, make adjustments to, uh, you know, not only streamline this process, but to also make it uh, less stressful and beneficial for both parties involved. All right, enough of that. Let's go ahead and get into some of the things that I've learned regarding the shipping process. Now, when it comes to the styrofoam pieces, I'm making them a little bit smaller so they don't um, put any pressure on the rim of the cup. Now, I found if there's any pressure, it tends to cause the cup to not seal as well as it should and potentially leak. Now, any cup that I'm putting in a box that is on its side is going to be wrapped in a plastic bag just in case you do get a little bit of a leak. I did have somebody mention that that was the only one that did leak a little bit, but the bag actually prevented it from getting over the place and it worked out fine. 
Now, another thing that I've done that kind of you know made the process a little bit more organized was go ahead and put the order number and a description of a coral on the lid of the cup. Now, what I do is I take each order and I go through and I make all the cups first, and then I put the cups and the order uh, paperwork in the box with the heat pack and the coral, uh, uh, what is it, dip, and as well as the frag plugs. And I put all that stuff in there, and then I pretty much uh, get it ready to move on to the next step. Once that's done, the next thing I do is go ahead and take out an individual order's cups and paperwork and bring it into the frag room. Now at this point, I'll go ahead and I'll uh, package up all the coral, you know, put it on the styrofoam if required with the rubber band, and I'll go ahead and put that cup in the frag tank and let it float. Now I've been doing this because uh, this process does take a long time. Now I did eight or eight orders the other day, and it literally took almost five hours. It was just a little under, and uh, I basically uh, just let the coral sit in there and stay temperature, or at least consistent temperature, as long as possible. That way, uh, it kind of just uh, is a little bit less stressful on the coral. Now, once all the orders are packed up and the frags are sitting in the frag tank floating around, it's uh, it's then time to go ahead and start boxing. Now, the downtime between the frag tank and the box is only a couple minutes, and literally the heat pack is added. Everything is taped up, and uh, the label labels put on there, and it goes to uh, the FedEx store. Now. I am um, dropping off the orders about 5.30ish, and they are, um, you know, the latest that they can get dropped off is about 6 or so, and uh, that allows, uh, you know, them to have less downtime and hopefully uh, better the chances of them uh, arriving at their destination alive. But either way, guys, it's a pretty easy process once everything was uh, streamlined, and, you know, I'm on my third day now of shipping coral, and frankly, it's really just kind of secondhand now, and I know that it's kind of weird, it's only been three days, but I just go ahead and throw on some music, uh, start packaging everything up, and just kind of have a good time doing it. Now, there's one more thing that I want to mention before I let you go, because I don't want this video to be too long, and that is the actual inventory on the website. Now, once something is completely sold out of the reef tank, I'm going to go ahead and remove it from the website altogether. And uh, if there's stuff that says that it's healing or coming soon, uh, that stuff is just in the process of, um, you know, getting ready to be shipped. Um, like I said before, I'm not going to ship anything that's not healed because that just, you know, with everything going on, even a healthy coral doesn't make the shipping process. Why would I send something that is in the process of healing itself? That would be, that's just stupid and bad business. So. Uh, either way, um, I'm going to go ahead and keep updating the website. I have a lot more coral that I'm going to add. It's just I have to get into uh, cutting it in the tank. And I'm, right now I'm working on the left structure. I'm going to do the middle, and then I'm going to do the right. It's just it is what it is. So if there's something that you're looking for in particular, please email me, and I might cut it early to figure out a way so you can get your coral. But, uh, you know, just let me know. Well, guys, that's about it for this video. I really just wanted to give you an update, kind of share the pros and cons, and some of the struggles that I deal with on my end. Now, this is technically my first time shipping coral by myself, so we're all going to live and learn, and I'm just sharing my experiences with you uh, just to kind of keep you guys in the loop. Now, if you guys have any questions, feel free to put it in the comment section below or contact me via email or on the website at fishapex.com. Either way, I will get back to you. Now, I am a little backed up on my emails and comments, but uh, I plan on uh, getting ahead of all that this weekend. Now, if you like the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate those. And if you didn't like it, definitely give it a thumbs down because believe it or not, Keyboard Ninjas, when you a thumbs down a video, it still promotes the channel. So I really can't hate you too much for that. All right. So either way, guys, if you like the content that I provide for this community, go ahead and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time. Peace.